The GPT fever is real and it's taking the world by storm. The chat GPT craze has reached such epic proportions that OpenAI had to hit the pause button on new signups for chat GPT plus. Yeah, you heard it right. Apparently, too many users out there wanted a piece of the GPT action and OpenAI wants to make sure everyone has a stellar experience. Talk about demand, right? Now hold on to your seats because in today's video, we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of GPTs. We're not just talking about using them. We're talking about making your very own. All right, let's first talk about how to access GPTs. If you have a ChatGPT Plus subscription and you log in, you'll see an option to use ChatGPT, ChatGPT Classic, and below that, any GPTs that you've actually created. The regular ChatGPT model right here is the one that has it all. It has the vision, the built-in doll E, the built-in code interpreter, and more. It's an all-in-one feature-rich ChatGPT. ChatGPT Classic is essentially just a chatbot. It lacks all other features, including web browsing, Dolly, Vision, and other capabilities. It is merely a chat platform with a slightly faster speed. Now to create your own GPT, navigate to this left sidebar and click on Explore. Under this tab, you will see all of the GPTs created by OpenAI, as well as the option to create a new GPT. Now when you click on Create a GPT, there are two ways to construct a GPT. The first is to use natural language to describe what you want your GPT to do. And the second is to have ChatGPT construct the GPT for you. Additionally, there is a configure tab where you can sort of manually provide it with all the information you want it to have. You can name it, describe it, give it custom instructions for handling inputs and outputs, provide it with some conversation starters, upload any knowledge-based files, and enable any additional features like web browsing, doll e code interpreter, etc. Next up, I literally want to build a GPT from scratch for you in this video. For example, suppose I want to create a GPT that allows me to upload a picture of anyone's face and has the ability to automatically place that face on a cat's body. To create the GPT I want, all I have to do is go to the Create tab and tell it what to do. I want to be able to upload an image of a person. I then want the GPT to take the person's image and create a new image of a cat, but with the person's face instead of the cat's face. It then asks me, how about naming this GPT Cat Face Morph? Does that work for you? Sure that works. It then offers me a profile picture. Here's the profile picture for Cat Face Morph. Then it wants me to refine the context. Great, let's refine the context a bit. In terms of the types of responses and interactions you're expecting from Catface Morph, should it focus on humor and fun or be more straightforward and technical in its approach? It should be humorous and fun. Now, let's talk about any specific things you'd like Catface Morph to emphasize or avoid. Are there any particular guidelines or boundaries you want to set for the images it creates? No specific guidelines. Just take the image upload and make a picture of a cat that appears to have the same face as the image uploaded. Then it asks, how would you like Catface Morph to communicate with you? Should it use casual language or would you prefer a more formal tone? Please use humorous language. End each reply with meow. All right, and it says Catface Morph is all set up. Would you like to try it out in the playground? You can upload a photo and see how it transforms into a cat-human morph. Let's take a look at the Configure tab, and we can see how everything is configured here. It has all of the information we just gave while speaking with ChatGPT under the custom instructions. The name is Cat Face Morph, and the description is I create humorous cat human morphs meow. Really, nothing needs to be changed. Everything should be in place. Right now, I can test it out here on the right. Alternatively, if I click Save, I can save it and publish it to the public, just to myself, or to anyone with a link. Let's just publish it to myself for the time being. I will verify it. As you can see, I have morphed my cat face over here in my left sidebar. I'm going to take this picture, drag it into the cat face morph, and then press enter. I don't need to do anything else because it already knows what to do. In a matter of seconds, it creates a cat that resembles the picture's face. And I must say it's quite the charming Felion. Don't you agree? And that's how simple the process of creating a GPT is. Now, the one I just showed you was kind of silly and fun, but not very practical. Now let me show you another GPT that I've found to be extremely useful and practical. Here's Designer GPT. It creates and hosts beautiful websites. It was made by Pietro Schirano. And as you can see, there are some prompt suggestions below. Let's use them to create a layout for a personal blog. It is currently sending some data to a third-party website, so I must click Allow to let it complete its task and receive this response once more. I've designed a personal blog layout for you. You can view the live web page here. This layout features a simple and clean design with sections for an introduction about me, the latest post, and a subscription form. Feel free to explore it and let me know if you need any modifications. 
And here is the web page that it produced. It's not exactly the most elegant design. Rather, I would describe it as being fairly straightforward and simplistic, but it also seems like you could kind of go back and forth and play around with it and have it continue to build the design it generated until it satisfies you. This next GPT promises to give us a seamless file conversion. And this was also created by Pietro Schirano and is titled Convert Anything. It promises to be the ultimate file converter for images, audio, video, documents, and more. It handles individual or batch uploads, supports zips, and provides a download link. Some of the example prompts are, convert this PDF to a JPEG. I need these files converted to MP4. Can you turn this document into an Excel file? and convert these images to PNG format. Let's give it a shot. This image is a JPEG file. Let's upload it and request it to be converted to a PDF. It appears to have continued and then figured out after initially receiving an error analysis. Your image has been converted to a PDF file, it says. You can download it using the link below. You can see it downloaded this converted image PDF and opening it up, you can see that I have my inverted image.pdf right here. Good job. Next up, we have something that can increase your website's visibility in the vast space of search engines. The SEO Mentor. Take it from its description. SEO Mentor is aligned with Google's best practices and it was created by Natsia Ruiz. Let's go ahead and ask it, what is the lowest hanging fruit, easiest optimization I can make to improve SEO? And here's what we get out of that. Optimize page titles and meta descriptions, improve page loading speed, mobile responsiveness, high quality relevant content, etc. I was given a breakdown of the simplest things I could do to make my page more optimized. But to optimize pages, you need to have good proofreading skills first. Hence, Edit GPT has got your back. This GPT will proofread, edit, and track changes to your content. Works alongside the Edit GPT browser extension. Down here, we have a few prompt choices like proofread this text, but only fix grammar. Proofread this text, fixing only awkward parts. Proofread this text, improving clarity and flow. I'll just take a copy of this tweet, paste it in, and instruct it to proofread this text. It provided me with a slightly altered version for better flow, but then it gave me a note that this GPT is best used alongside the Edit GPT browser extension. Although I've been using ChatGPT for proofreading for a while now, I'm not entirely sure what advantages this one has to offer, but I suppose there would be some extra perks if I would go on and install the browser extension, something with which you could experiment. The link is in the description, as with all the GPTs discussed in this video. Speaking of experimenting, why not experiment with building a website just by providing a sentence? This is exactly what our next GPT is capable of, Grimoire. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but it's a coding wizard. 100x engineer, create a website with a sentence, built for a new era of creativity. You can find some prompt examples it provides like, write code for a link in bio. Tutorial, show read me, then show the hotkey K command. Unfortunately, it truncates the prompts, so I can't see the entire thing. But let's just have it generate code for a link in a bio. As you can see, the pre-written prompt is quite lengthy, but it actually went off and generated a lot of stuff this time. Greetings, traveler. And then it's asking for title, list of links, art theme style, quick suggestions, confirm detail, suggest different themes, create a background image, read me, and tutorial. And then it says, once you provide these details, I'll use Dolly to create the background image, and then we'll proceed to write the spell for your website. As a result, Dolly was used to create a retro pixelated gamer background. It then created step-by-step -step plans for the website, such as the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript backgrounds. Finally, it mapped out what it needed to do and then provided some quick suggestions below. W, to confirm to proceed with coding. A, to suggest any changes before coding. E, to expand on a specific part of the plan. Your website is now ready and has been enchanted into a magical zip file. You can download it using the link below. Once downloaded, you can deploy it to the digital realm of Netlify. To deploy your website, simply drag and drop the zip file's contents onto Netlify's drop zone at Netlify Drop. Let's go ahead and grab our zip file from the drop zone. Let's see what it came up with for us. You can see that it has been updated and that the background has been added to the page. It is not the prettiest page, but it appears to have been designed to look good on mobile. But how about a GPT that can help you analyze trends in the market? Let's take a look at Market Analyst by Gillingham. It's said to be a succinct stock crypto chart analysis for trading professionals. You should be able to upload a stock chart or a cryptocurrency chart and have it analyzed for you with this GPT. I now have a one-month candlestick chart for test 
Tesla. I'll take a screenshot of this, pull in the new chart, and see if it provides any information without any additional prompts. This is not only a good way to analyze charts, but it also appears to be a good way to learn how to do technical analysis. As you can see, it is claiming a bullish trend. The majority of the time, the buying volume is dominant. It even includes a trading strategy. This is a really interesting GPT. This is probably the one that has impressed me the most of the ones I've used so far. Alrighty, that's all what we got for today. But here is my question for you. What kind of GPTs or these crazy AI agents you would want to make? Also, leave a comment about which cool GPT are you using already? The possibilities seem limitless here. Go and try creating your own GPT and explore the endless opportunities they offer. Important links are in the description below. Please consider subscribing for the latest updates in the AI and tech world. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.